Hi, I'm Sarah, and I live in a nearly 6,000 square foot library building with my husband Ben in rural Kentucky. And today I'm going to tell you about how I refinished this dresser that used to be Ben's when he was a kid and is now our TV stand. We first had to pick up this dresser from Ben's dad's house, and uh, so we pulled it out to his dad's driveway. And from there, we started the process of the renovations. So you'll see in the before pictures, but it looked a lot different. It had a lot more wooden grooves in it. It had some wooden detail pieces on the front of the drawers. It was almost like these nine drawers were meant to look like there was a lot more drawers. Um, there was different hardware going in different directions. So first things first, we removed all of that wooden detailing. It was just kind of tongue in groove inserted into some grooves um, on the front faces of the drawers. So I was able to pry those out pretty easily. They were just glued in. And then Ben did some sanding on the top of it. From there, we brought it home and that's when the process of really refinishing it started. So first, I wanted to fill in all those grooves that some of them were there as decoration and some of them were left behind from the wood detailing we removed. Um, and then there was also some spots, uh, it's an old dresser, so there were just some gouges that needed to be filled in here and there. I used a product called Durham's Water Putty. Uh, it's a powder that you mix with water to make a putty. It dries fairly quickly, but um, I was able to use that pretty effectively. I believe I did two coats on everything because as it dried, it settled a little bit. So I did uh, two layers so that it was overfilled in all of the holes, gouges, and grooves that I wanted to fill. Now here's where I started to make some mistakes. Um, as I said, I overfilled all of the gouges and grooves and so I needed to sand them down. I didn't want to have to take all of the pieces outside, so I hand sanded here in our house. I had laid a tarp out and hand sanded using a couple different grits of sandpaper. I thought it was fine. I primed, I painted, and it wasn't until after I finished painting that I realized it just did not look good. The faces of the drawers were really bumpy and they felt smooth to me, I guess, before I painted, but once the paint was on, it was very obvious that I had not sanded enough, that there were some grooves that were filled with putty. So from there, I took the drawers outside. We live on the second floor of our building, so I had to take them all downstairs outside on a very hot day. Um, and I wanted to get more footage of sanding them, but it was so hot that my camera overheated and stopped filming. But I used a power sander outside and sanded down the faces of the drawers, again using a couple different grits. I think I used 220 and 120 grit sandpaper using an orbital sander, and that worked really well. It was not very hard, it was just really hot that day, uh, but I was able to get really smooth finishes on the faces of the drawers. So then I brought the drawers back inside and again primed the faces. So I'd already primed and painted the body. But I again primed the faces of the drawers. And for primer, I use a product called Zinzer Bullseye 123 Plus. I've used other primers on different projects in this house, and I really regret not using this one. This one works really well. So once they were primed again, I started to map out where the handles were gonna go. I bought all this hardware from my local hardware store. I decided to use knobs in the middle drawers and then uh, these handles on the side drawers in a brass satin finish. So I got to measuring and mapping out where I thought that they would go, re-measuring, and of course, even with measuring a couple times, I drilled a couple holes in the wrong places. So I again had to go back with the water putty and fill those in. I was a little frustrated, but I got through it. It was just a couple holes and they were so small that those I was able to just hand sand down. But once I measured and re-measured and triple measured, then I drilled all the holes, all the pilot holes for where all the hardware was gonna go. I used a little bit of sandpaper to smooth around the edges of the holes that I had drilled. 
And then I got to painting again. So I did two coats on the body and the drawer faces. For paint, I used Rust-Oleum, Painter's Touch, Ultra Cover, Premium Latex Paint in the satin finish in the color Hunt Club Green, which I think turned out really nice. It's up against a dark blue wall, so I thought the blue and the green would look really nice together. I let the paint dry and cure for a couple of days, and then I added the knobs and the handles. And then it was time to put it all in place. So Ben helped me move the body into place. And then before I put the drawers in, I used a white candlestick that I got from the dollar store uh, and ran it along the wooden drawer slides underneath the drawers so that they might slide a little more smoothly. I like that I was able to take something that was Ben's as a kid and give it new life and a new purpose here in our home together. And it's not perfect, it's not brand new, it's got some character, but I think I love that about it. I think it looks great and it works really well for what we need it to. I hope you liked this video. If you have DIY projects you're working on, I'd love to hear about those in the comments. Please give this video a like by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel, Library Living, for a lot more videos coming soon. Thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me here on Library Living. So, train coming. We live near train tracks. I'm able to sleep through that. How? Humans can get used to anything. I think I got it.